There are most definitely days where you'll wake up and you do not want to come into work. You don't want to do it. But knowing that you, you are here for three years and doing what you're doing, you come here, you open up that door, and your, your watch dinner sounds off so loud and so proud, and they're calling you petty officer, they're calling you chief, and then you realize that you have a red rope on your shoulder and you are doing something that a lot of people will never want to do or even think about doing. And I was one of them where I was like, absolutely not. I graduated boot camp and that was it. I'm not coming back. And to think about it now, it's, it's mind blowing to think of all the, the good things that I'm putting into these, these recruits that are gonna be sailors and they're gonna go out and do great things. When they get to graduation, they walk across, they're about to become Navy sailors. It's, uh, it makes you wanna strike a tear. You get really emotional. It's like, dang, I did that like for eight to nine weeks. Me and the other two RDCs on this push, we did that. And then they introduce you to their families, whoever comes to graduation, and then they thank you as well too. Um, so it definitely it makes you more emotional because you don't know how much it means to the other families that come out that you took care of their, their kids. I like being an RDC. Like I said, I refer to my recruits as my kids. I'm like, I'm, I'm very proud to be an RDC. So if you think, you don't have what it takes, you, you probably do. Come here and, and let the people that are here mold you into, into a better leader. There, there's some fantastic leaders here that just help to, to make you better. Uh, and when you're surrounded by that excellence, you become part of that excellence as well. Come here, come here and be an RDC. Come see what it's like. I've been in. Probably get a bite to eat and um, get a couple hours of sleep. Be back here at uh, zero five.